Okay, so in our previous project, um, we worked on the front end of our blog. Uh, so we have about us page, archive, contact, and um, post page, and so on. In this project, we are going to recreate this admin system that I've uh, done um, beforehand. So it has a uh, few sections. It has uh, articles, you can make a new one, you can view existing ones. Uh, comments, approved, unapproved. So you could create a new comment here. Um, you could add your tags here. And you can also view um, existing articles here and search as well. Um, the approved section, you can unapprove um, an article or a comment. Uh, you can approve a comment um, from here as well. Um, we have a list of commenters and we have tags to work on as well. So the tags will appear here. So you can add a new tag and it shows up on the right section. Okay, so um, we have settings page as well. So the site title, which is here, uh, can be added from the admin section. We have a uh, post per page. You could put the site on the maintenance. You have other settings to activate or disable. Okay, so we have um, some alerts and you can log out from our admin section. So there's a few pages for us to, to work on and to learn from. So let's get coding. So if we go into Bootstrap blog, right click and make a new folder. Uh, call this folder admin. Uh, right click on the admin folder and let's uh, make another folder uh, CSS. Okay, so right click on CSS and create a new file and save this as default CSS. Uh, let's right click on our admin and create our index.html file. Okay, so now if you go into Bootstrap, uh, getting started and um, basic example, uh, click here to copy to clipboard and paste um, here. So let's change uh, the title, so it's admin. And now let's uh, target our Bootstrap CSS, okay? So our Bootstrap CSS is in vendor, and within vendor we have a CSS folder. All right, so over here we say come out, go into vendor, right click, um, right slash, and Bootstrap um, 3.3.2 distribution. And that's it. Um, the other thing we want to do is add our bespoke uh, CSS, which is in uh, CSS slash default CSS. All right, so we can copy uh, this um, href and put it here for our JavaScript. So it targets our JavaScript, which is in this folder here. All right, so if you save what you've done, uh, go to the browser. Um, okay, let's go to our projects folder and go into Bootstrap blog and within Bootstrap blog, your admin folder and double click on index. Okay, so if you right click and inspect elements, uh, click on console, uh, there shouldn't be any errors here. So now we can start uh, working on our admin system. So on the left side, we are going to make our navigation and on the right side, we have our content area. So to get started, we're going to uh, make a div and then have our container fluid in there. And we're going to make a, a row. So a div class row. And then within our row, we have our column. So we have another div and a class and column, we have MD2. Uh, so this is for our left side and MD10 is for the content area. This page is going to be quite long. So I'm going to add some comments here for visual purposes. So side menu, and then this will be uh, for, uh, for the main um, content. So this is just a uh, a comment, it's not compiled, it's just for us to to see and know where we are. Okay, so in our first column, we'll add 
navigation within h1 and then we'll have a paragraph and you just put something there for now so this is content area for admin so let's say what we've done and reset our screen and that's what we have okay so let's add some basic CSS for our project targeting our HTML and body um, so whatever we apply here would apply to the entire page so I'm going to add font family um, for the for the whole project so Helvetica new and then we'll have Helvetica here and Arial and Sans Serif uh, just spell that properly no if I can still spell that's it Serif and um, we add a background color for the entire site which would be hashtag um, F3 F3 and F4 okay and we'll add the color for our font uh, this would be um, hashtag uh, 676 A6C and let's see what we've done so that's the background is slightly grayed out and the color is also gray so we want to put a, a background um, color to our navigation so I'll add an ID side menu and we'll target our ID here so it's hashtag side menu and we give it a background color of hashtag 2F4050 and padding is zero and within our side menu we have a h1 so I have um, a h1 here and I give it a color of 1f3647 okay and then we we'll text align it to the center and we add uh, a margin top and bottom is 10 pixels left and right is 0 pixels we say font size is 25 pixels so let's reset our screen and that's what we have okay so I'm going to uh, I'm going to draw a box around so we could see uh, what space is being taken up by uh, different elements so give it a border one pixel red and dotted and then go into our HTML and attach our box class to um, a column and there we see so the right column goes all the way to the right um, of the page so what I want to do is have a bit more content here so we want our navigation to resize um, with um, with the content so if I duplicate this content so we have a bit more and you see it would be ideal for our navigation to stretch down so it looks more like this here so the background color should always um, match up with uh, what we have on the right so we'll be working on this architecture uh, in the next in the next lesson so in this lesson we've done the basic groundwork so we've done some CSS and we've written some HTML um, and I will see you in the next lesson